Welcome back guys to Octopath Traveler, where last episode we set upon a ton of side quests that we've had in our backlog for a long time, completing many including reuniting a wife with her unfortunately dead husband. We now look to give a little bit more impetus to the man as we take his friend over to give him a right talking to. The other one we want to be talking to is down here, because these are new NPCs in town. So we have some more not candy. This kid eats plums, which will feature Cyrus on this. We've got a cat nearby having a sleep. A young boy who lives in Ripple Tide, often left to his own devices by his busy parents. He spends much of his time with his elderly neighbor, listening to stories of faraway lands. But it's this old lady that's the interesting one if we talk to her. Greetings. She's exotic. I traveled far and wide across this world and learned many tongues. Not that I ever get a chance to speak them. All my knowledge is good for is telling the tales to the children. Many tongues. Translating of a book quest that we currently have going. An elderly woman who has acquired a deep knowledge of the world's languages and cultures through her travels. No longer fit for such adventures, she lives to impart her knowledge to others. So essentially, you just gotta look for the, the hints like that. And before we take her anywhere, we're gonna steal all the stuff, of course. We'll come back for her. I don't think there was anyone else to steal from. But they were new NPCs, basically just showing up for us. Oh, remember this guy? He got told off by his mum. Ah! Please, mother! I never meant to bother anyone! Except that woman. Ah! Oh, did I truly raise him such a weak young man? It seems as though I've got much to teach him. Indeed you do. So, I think that quest takes us to where Cyrus currently is. We're not going to go straight on to that quest, of course, but we will go to Stone Garden the Highlands. Right, so, there are a few quests here, of which we have seen things to do as well. Uh, that does take me up to Stoneguard Heights. I think it's up here that that quest was? It's not you, is it? Well, no. No, you're studying the Venice Dynasty. There's another one, though. Was it here? Oh, uh, 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 uh. Or was it you? Hmm. His tome came from a land across the sea. No, that does The man I'm looking for with this person. What am I doing? I'm getting my wires crossed. I'm getting my wires crossed. The man's in Goldshill. My wires, they're crossed. The man's in Goldshill. Right then, the man. Who do you think you're killing? What? Harris? I'm my boom companion! Whatever is the meaning of this? The man, didn't you finally do what you'd always wanted? Did you set on a grand adventure? We've been friends since we were children, I've always tried to be there for you. But enough is enough! Push him off the bridge! You had a dream, didn't you? A dream you've held in your heart since we were boys. When you're gonna discover an unknown land just like your hero? I know you've always been all talk with no action, but I really thought that you would do it if you were given the chance. Harris? If I so much as see your lousy face back home, I'll never speak to you again. You hear me? If you're a real man, then don't look back. I, I won't, I swear! You've always been the one to push me when I needed courage. Push him off the bridge. I went to about this time. Yes, I will find a new land. Is that what you're after? Hear me now, O oh thou vast and uncharted world. I am Le Man, and I venture unto thee. Take care. Goodbye, Jaris. I'll leave you now, but I will carry you and a home always in my heart. Go then, Le Man. And don't come back until you've had a true adventure. And you learn, eh? It sounds so awfully far away. It does, doesn't it? Coming here, however, I've got the... I know, possibly, where I'm finding the person that's missing for this person, too. The former sailor. Some years back now, our ship went down in a bad spot of weather. Most of the crew washed up eventually, but no one ever saw the captain again. The rest of the crew gave up long ago, and everyone went their separate ways in the end. But I haven't stopped believing that the captain's still alive out there somewhere. A great man he was. You know him anywhere by his long beard. 
Should you ever see such a man in your travels? I'd be mighty pleased you could bring him here to me. So that is hopefully back in Victor's Hollow. Again, it's just suspicious text that you've got to read into a little bit. See, this is the problem, really. I did go around and I basically go to a town and I steal an inquirer and I don't talk to people. So I've missed these until I did go around and talk to people. Most of them just say piff puff, but some of them do say great hmm. things. An amnesiac. I watched up on shore here some years back with no memory at all who I might be or even what I was once called. I keep on hoping that someone will recognize me one day and be able to tell who I am. Surely some must have known me, I? It's the eye, he said. He's got a beard ish. Might be him, he's an amnesia. He might actually be for some other quests. But he washed up ashore, which means he, he fell afoul of things at sea. And play. Oh, 32%? Hmm. Switch up the party. Party switch. Alright, we'll change again, Primo. And we'll put Ulbrick in as well, because he's got a job to do. What about guiding you? Hmm. That is not Ophelia. That is Cyrus. For starters, they're different genders. So you should probably notice that, Sam. There we go. We can guide him, no problem, though. Alright, we'll take you from the deep breath. Let the flame guide your path. Are you one of those, um... Clerics, is it? Yes, I am. Side quest clear out. It's nice to have a little break between chapters. Come on, get 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 with the program. Back to gold, sure it is. Oh, this am I okay today? Why? What's wrong with me? Am I cheery? Better be you. Is that really you, Captain? Hmm. Captain? Uh, who are you, lad? Have you forgotten me? I sailed under you half my life! Sailed? Under me? That's not how boats work. That's right, on the blue wave! Don't you remember at all? The blue wave? Y yes! I think I do recall something. She was my ship! I was the captain of the Blue Wave! That's right, sir! I've been searching for you for years! I'm sorry, lad. Until this very moment, I had no idea who I was in the world! So, that's what happened. There's no wonder I had such a hard time finding where you. He just instantly remembered, is he? I've been waiting here in this town since we lost you, believing that you must still be alive somewhere. I never give up the ghost that easy! So what do you say to you be in the high seas once again? Aye aye, sir. Do you think he's like suddenly was like a pirate captain? He's suddenly been like, no, 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 ah, just suddenly changes. Once word gets around that you're alive, man in a ship, I'm sure the old crew will all come flopping back to ye. Ha! That sounds a real treat. I wouldn't say no to more journeys like we used to have. We had a fine time out there in a wide open sea, didn't we? We got ourselves an elemental ward. Another quest is closed. Well, that's how we like things. That said, another quest lies right here. Because in Noble Court, of course, there was a guy next to the inn. I think it was the inn. Yes, it was the inn. Definitely the tavern. That said, three people bearing crests. He wants to get revenge. Well, this must be one of them. You know what I mean? The crest bearing ruffian. How about our friend square to arms? I've killed scores of my bare teeth. You'll be eating worms in no time, you worm. Didn't equip him with a secondary class. That's Let clever. Let us fight with honor. The battle is truly joy. So let's find your weakness, sir. Too slow. We're already Come a bit low on mana. Let's. Well, we kind of have to hope it spears now. How did you miss that many times? Too slow. At least I've got the dodge rate. No. The 
The battle is truly true. My blade is an I wreak havoc upon thee! Over times. How about you? What do you mean I'm not all together? I'm chugging along at the speed of light. How about this? Trying to get things done nice and efficiently, and it's working. The battle is truly joy. I'm zipping between them. Yeah. yeah, a lovely break. But I need to wait some extra turns before I can do this again. Victory shall be my blade is I wreak havoc upon thee! Easy. So that's With one of Crest Bender done. Crest Bender? Bearer. That's the one. Crest Bender. Sure. It's a weird avatar class. You're gonna be kidding me! Yeah, Farron did it. So that's one out of three done. Where to find the next one, you say? Well, I know where another one is. Do you believe me on that? Atlas Dam, where we've got to give ourselves in that picture that we found not too long ago. See, I actually had a lot less quests on this to do, but we found more quest completions as we started just going down that other path. Where's Atlas Dam again? There we go. Which has led to even more. But once they're done, they're done. And that's the great way to go about doing things, eh? I should probably rest at the inn, shouldn't I? I've got a discount of this inn if I'm running the same. It is here where the guy who has the art is, isn't it? Or is it Noble Court? I mean, I could go to the journal. Flatlands, that's Atlas Dam, isn't it? No, that's Noble Court. Oh, that's said, uh, yeah, Atlas Dam, here we go. So the quest is here, we just have to find the quest giver. So, me. there's a crest bearing drunk here. Stupid piece of sparkle. This crest wouldn't even buy me a proper drink around here. What? You think it means anything? It's useless thing. Sure, it meant I was part of something once. What does that mean? Nothing. Brother, don't fill your belly. Well, it gets you beaten up. Hopefully this guy isn't as hardcore as the, uh, the drunk we had before. Ha <laughs> ha, take a little cabbage. I feel sick. Don't be sick on me. Let us fight with honor. A rare peek at the journal indeed. The battle is truly joined. And what do you eat, spears? Okay, you eat swords. I prefer it to be spears. No. Ah, it didn't work. <laughs> Suck it. No. This exploits my weakness. No. Okay, I've got... because it's not spears, I have to knock it in no. ever so slowly. No. How about you? We'll take the break there. The battle is truly I made his I wreak havoc upon me! Over style! Too slow! How about you? Let's just continue to break him down, just nice and patiently. Victory shall be one more special blade will work. My weakness! Victory shall be mine! How dare you exploit it! My weakness! My blade is I wreak havoc upon thee! And that sorts out two of the crest bears. Unfortunately, there's three, and I haven't found the third. But we get ourselves a mercenary quest for the win. So that's good and all. You got a problem with me, eh? Hey! Got a problem with me? I hate those guys. Those fronting guys. No problem. <laughs> Look for chum. Just a guy summoning a god's power in the middle of the street. Nothing much. Do you think everyone's just like around? They're just minding their own business and then they hear, You weep! As that noise goes off. Blast their ears out. Where is this other quest? Because in there, it's like the lady wants to see of gold stuff, and I have no information on that. It's here. What her? I collect great works of art, and this particular art has been a favourite of mine lately. 
The only trouble I have is this artist is quite particular and refuses to paint anything but landscapes. So long as you can find some more of his work, if only I could track down more examples. We bought his final masterpiece. Honest. Nonsense, that cannot be! You say my favorite artist will never paint again? This is his final painting? What the- what, I can say his final painting, he looks fairly young. I'm just gonna point out why is he his final painting? Maybe we'll get like, get him a- not a suitor, that's not the one, a patron, that's the right one. How could any with such talent ever abandon his art? His paintings are flawless, there's nothing anyone could say to criticize such a masterpiece. You should pay him money, I didn't. I see. Yes, perhaps it is because this was to be his last ever piece that it is so exquisite. He did not merely paint what he saw, he poured all his artist's soul into this landscape. I believe that this hill must be a place of great import to this artist. His love for this place has made this into an indescribable masterpiece. As a true fan of this artist, I will treasure his last and greatest work for the rest of my days. We got 13k. I really wish there was like an option like, do you want to now deliver the money? Because I would. I actually would. Like seriously, even though I stole it. I would go, I did this to procure you a buyer. And then I'd give him the money. But it wouldn't let me do that. I would honestly do that. Alright, so back to Ripple Tide it is. Let's go get that lady. I could bring the artist to him instead. Oh, well. Obviously, my thieving ways, and even think of that. They overpower me at every second. Come with me, madame. We have need. What can you do to ease my burden? You can translate a book for someone. That's the one thing we need to be done. You, you lie, you would use that money for gear. Well, I'm, I'm ridding world of many evils. What's a donation or two for that, you know? <laughs> yeah, let, let's think this quest through. Ah, yeah, I, I stole it again without even realizing. It's, it's like breathing. It's a reflex at this point. All right, this should be there because no one else has like specific texts as this lady doth have. From many languages of many lands. <gasps> you want to read this book, you say? If you be so kind, you can read it, can you? Let's see. Ah, oh, let's better see. Well, now this brings back memories. It's a language of the Far East. Are you certain? You doubt me? Let me translate for you. Far to the west lies the great continent of Ostella. In that land was a city called Hornburg, where a mighty gate was built. My good lady, you can read these outlandish squiggles! Yes, though I'm out of practice. Forgive my impertinence, but how did you learn such a thing? It's a long tale, truth be told. My husband was a scholar of all things foreign. His investigations would take him far and wide, and I would join him on his travels. He taught me the customs and tongues of the places we visited. He was an earnest teacher, and I learned much. And now, he passed away, and I had no more reason to roam. I'm sorry, my lady. Oh, don't look so glum. It was years ago. Now I suppose you want to hear more from this book. Oh, indeed, so gods mend me. I wish to know what secrets lie within these pages. Please, will you translate it for me? It's just a cooking book. <laughs> hmm, translate, you say? You refuse? No, it is a simple enough task and I'll do it gladly. You've done me a great favour. Thank you most kindly. So, we now have the lady over here as we get ourselves some more exotic garb from an exotic lady. The question is, I, I don't expect it will be much in the way of much money, but I think I've got one last thing to do. This is way longer than that list I put down there. Everything I've done here, like everything I had suspicions about, I've already done, so great. 
apart from one thing, which is still here, and I'm guessing, see, when we're here, we may as well do, oh, I've gone out of town. We may as well do, no, I haven't gone out of town, this is right. Well, Cyrus is chapter four, three, next, this is chapter four. Did we get her clothing? Yeah, she just gave us the clothes. She doesn't need clothes to translate. Do you remember this old man is being got by these ruffians? And I'm 100% sure I've beat them up before. And nothing happened. I beat them both up. To no avail. I will take your stuff. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Right, there's obviously people to still steal from here. So we beat them both up. <laughs> just between you and me, the boss wasn't always like this. He used to be, you'd see him as well, but I but ever since he lost his sister Layla. Say again? Watch it. You also something like to say to us? You haven't clear out. So they've got a boss, is what we said, and there's also like another option mm. to sort things out for them by the looks of things. However, we only know the ways of violence, and I'm pretty sure that the boss is right here. <laughs> <laughs> While they're keeping his eyes busy, I'll just while they're keeping his eyes busy, looks upon shop. Huh? Who the? I mean, ah, can I help you with something? They'll trade another way, you know. Yes, well, you're hustling whoever's below you. Fight with honor. Uh, we can't let that happen, because obviously the battle is true. there's no honor in this. The and I don't know where this girl joined. is. Uh, I don't know if rewards for requests are the same regardless of a route I take. I imagine they probably are. But, uh, yeah, we beat up this guy and... He has to be the one, maybe? And if he's not, then we can go find this Layla. Sometime in the future. See? Violence. Might as well call him too bias. Ha ha ha. Help! We're nice guys. There's an honorable jewel, though. Boss, it's Tobias! What? Bastard Tobias, I'm just being about paying us for the job. Oh, you're the boss. Oops. <laughs> okay, then. Whatever. I thought he must have been the boss. Wait a second. This ruffian's the boss. Oops. Oh, well, well. I beat him up. I could have ended up beating up an innocent man. But to be honest, he had hoo -hoo -hoo kind of talk. That's a convenient excuse. Slacking every hard day's work in his life. Doubt we'll see him again. Or our money ever again. Wait up, boss. What is the meaning of all this? Oh! Who was there? What was all that commotion about? So Tobias was the one behind all this? He set those near do wells on me to get my business? I knew he was a no good slacker, but I didn't think he was fool enough to resort to intimidating his fellow merchants. Well, at least you put an end to that nonsense. Thank you, young one. Though I do wish that. Wish what? Uh, wishes are as numerous as the grains of sand in the desert. I'll be fine. You've done enough already, friend. More than enough for a stranger. You do wish I sorted it a different way, maybe? Oops. Wait, isn't Tobias there now? <laughs> uh, uh, you're the mean... I, I mean, uh, how may we have service? You're now working for him. Which probably means that that was the resolution whichever way this works out. However, now I can challenge him to get in that house, which Let I don't think I could get in that house honor. before. No. Poor Tobias. With each battle, I grow strong. I always did like Lequay. I've heard it throughout all my time. If wishes were horses, I've heard it a different way. In chat, it's been put as if wishes were horses, we'd all ride. But I heard that if wishes were horses, beggars would ride was the point. Was the version I heard throughout my life. We'd all ride is probably way more pertinent. Hey, old man. I got some spiked armor. Because I couldn't challenge him. And what? So I was not a proper talking. And I decided to put him into work here at the shop to make up for what he's done. Heck, if he proves himself, maybe need the old place to him someday. I'm not getting any younger after all. I've been looking for someone to carry on for me for years now. So it looks like, in part, like he's mended his ways, but we beat him up again, so... Remember, good guys. Now, where's the inn? I say, there's a secret item here. 
Behind this door. You must be level 6 or higher to challenge that person. Don't mind me, then. Don't mind me. You stay there. That secret item can be there for the end of time, for all I care. I'll be back. Alright, I'm pretty sure we stole them from pretty much everyone in town now. So let's head to the inn, which is over here. Great. And finally, finally, do I have a thing? So I'll close my my log of suspicious places and suspicious talking. And now we can get on with finishing our chapter freeze at last. So who do we want for the party? Well, we obviously want Cyrus, because we're not doing anything without him. Uh... Technically, be Cyrus is an apothecary right now. Alpin's level. Technically, we want like. So Cyrus has to go in. So it's either one of Primrose or Treasure. We'll take Prim and Ob for melee damage. So we've got Scholar, Dancer. He yeah, Dancer thingy. So we've got most of the spell covered apart from Winds. So we just need to set old brick up with a skill set. And to be honest, we're pretty good after that. But mind you, it's going to be Primrose's quest next. Oh, we can get the others in at that point. It'll be fine. So what jobs are you missing, sir? We had you as a merchant last time, didn't we? You have learned a little bit into that job. We could have you as a... You look kind of cool as a thief, to be honest. Nice cake, mate. Nice, nice cake. I guess merchant makes sense in... It gives us also the wind spell, so we've got all the spell bases covered. So back to merchant Arvel. Gives you the extra thing of bows. We are missing something because it's on someone else. We need to give that to a certain someone ASAP. Right, so what have you got currently? Speed and speed. Accuracy or critical? Go with accuracy. In terms of swords, apart from that, I don't have anything better, better. We're gonna just, uh... Take from a certain rose of prim. I want this again. Wizard's Rod's pretty good, you know. Just put the Sapphire on, and then equip it to Cyrus, who can start nuking away, as he likes to do. Even though he's got his rock cleaver now, he's ready to ask people a question. Alright, where's the save point? And uh, we can begin our day. Our jaunt, now that we've set things up. Chapter 3! Cyrus, about to begin at last. And we've cleared so many quests. Finally, our log looks better because if we're going to go on to chapter 4, as you know, we're just going to get a ton more, right? So, best to clear some now. Time for us to hear a tale. You make your way to Stoneguard after learning that the original copy of the tome you seek might be there. But you can't help but feel that someone's been watching you. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. Story so far. Inquiry Crest, Cyrus uses powers of deduction. To get to the bottom of a series of kidnappings perpetrated by the depraved scholar Gideon, who was harvesting the villagers' blood for his dark research. It was in Gideon's sickening laboratory that Cyrus discovered it. A translated copy of From the Far Reaches of Hell. Though this history of the dark arts intrigued him, he could not sit idly by while his peers used knowledge for evil. And so Cyrus came to Stoneguard, where the tome was bound. Would he find answers here, or only more dreadful questions? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stone Guard at last. You mean I've been bumming around here for a while? <laughs> Sprawling city of have I saw one? Talk about searching for a needle in a haystack. Now then, first I should review where we stand. Like as not, the translated copy of From the Far Reaches of Hell was produced by a bookmaker in this town. Hmm. But where to begin my search? 
Logically speaking, it would make the most sense to begin the source. Which means, head straight for... The bookbinding shop, of course. The bindery, of course. Where else? Hmm, indeed. I thought I was getting my chance to move, but is someone watching you even now? Very well. Let the investigation begin. There it is. And I'll run straight down and confront him. That would be the best thing to do right now, wouldn't it? Take care, scholar. You haven't got to call him Cyrus? Haven't you been alone enough to be on first name basis? You know, I feel it now too. The unmistakable sense of being watched. For my part, the feeling was faint at first and came and went, but it grows stronger with every step we take. Undoubtedly, your instincts are sharper than mine. How did you acquire them, I wonder? I cannot say. It is something I learned on the battlefield. By what means, I do not rightly know. Oh, I was hoping there was some easy trick to it. It is easy enough, if you are willing to fight as many battles as I have. I think easy here means something different to you and me. Fair enough. Even a scholar such as yourself could not know everything there is to know of this world. Alright, well we know that we've got a lot of Olberic damage, and we've passed 330k in cash from all those quests we've done. So, great times. But let's heal up a certain someone and head to the bindery. No one's going to try to kidnap us and drain our blood, hopefully. He says. Let's see now. Testimony. I sold a book on my making to Dominic, a translator. His home lies on the east side of town. I know where that guy is. The book's whereabouts. Most intriguing. Mm-hmm. Well now, you will see my oh, this Dominic fellow a visit. I should be able to find him in the workshop just east of here. Yeah, I know where everyone is. Indeed. But binding requires the finest of materials. Right, thank you. We never knew. Alright then, well that's the interesting bit. Is are we going in there? Obviously. Right, well, it's not you we're after. No, we could knock you out, I guess. It's you. Well, I would have thought we were after, but you said the east side of town. I thought you were the translatory person. I just went to you, but this, this is west. Or north, when you think about it. I just went straight there because, of course, book translation quest. It makes sense. Pretty much done everything with everyone, by the look of it. This is the house by look of things. Excuse me. I beg pardon? Is this the resident of... My apologies. I don't know who you are, but I'm not in the mood for company. A moment of your if time. If you could just spare a moment, kind sir. There's something I'd like to ask you. Be gone with me. I said I wish to see no one. Leave me at once. Hmm. He seems like a stubborn one. I'll have to find another way. Pray forgive the intrusion. A good day to you, sir. It might behoove me to find out a bit more about our friend Dominic. Time to examine people, then. Scrutinize, indeed. Very on time, of course. Well. So you refused. Indeed. It would appear we have no one to rely upon but ourselves. This Dominic fellow. Stubbing coot, wouldn't you say? A type regrettably common in the world of philosophy and science. So you're going to find out more about him? Certainly. If I can do that, I might find a means by which to make him listen to me. I shall start by talking to his colleagues and other associates. Good luck. Those bookish types are batting in the Karen caves. <laughs> Myself included. Time to scrutinize. Let's see now. Testimony. That Dominic went and shut himself off in the world after his only daughter succumbed to sickness 15 years ago. So he's been secluded for a long, long time. Most intriguing. And 
indeed. So he's been gone for a while. There's someone to speak to in here. Of course his neighbor's going to have some information. Let's see now. Dominic had a translation commission he thought would earn him a fortune. Still rules the day he said yes to it, poor lad. Dominic's remorse. I think I might see what's been going on here. How his daughter fell to a sickness 15 years ago. That's intriguing. How his deep regrets having taken on his job for the money. Alright, there's just one person to speak of up to. Who has not been stolen from? Let us remedy this. Let's see now. Some sold some medicine to Dominic about 15 years ago, I think. I was in spot bother, as I recall, financially speaking, so I gave him a discount. Well, he wasn't in a spot bother, but he was. Dominic's troubles have been gained. Very well. 15 years ago, he lapped the coin to pay for the medicine his child so desperately needed. And that should do it. I dare say Dominic would be more talkative this time. What were you going to say? We know your daughter died 15 years ago and you failed to have enough money to really purchase the medicine. You failed. That's really going to make him talk to us. No, it's not. I'm going to bring up one of the deepest, darkest things to your past that you still feel remorse about. That will loosen your lips. That will let you in our house. I feel like Cyrus still is not getting this. Like humans. <laughs> Unless you do it. <laughs> yes, I'm sure he'll be more talkative. I'm better off just picking the lock and walking in. Alright, well, I've just shot straight past the house. So let's go talk. Excuse me. I beg pardon, Master Dominic. I'm Cyrus, the scholar who called upon you earlier. You again? I already told you. I didn't want to see you. Fifteen years ago, who did Dominic lose to sickness? Oh god. We're really doing this. What task did Dominic take on to pay his debts? Translating a book. But of course! Yes, if my reasoning is correct, this is undoubtedly why Dominic has cut off all contact with the outside world. I do not mean to open old wounds, friend. Oh, fine, he opened with that sentence. Everything from here on is forgiven. But I've heard that you lost your dear daughter to illness some 15 years ago. <clears throat> You're going to appeal on sense of revenge, yes? Thusly. Since then, you have secluded yourself and cut off all contact with the outside world, he says loudly in public. In order to procure the elixirs that might save your daughter, you needed coin quickly and in large quantities and so you accepted an unusual task yes to wit producing a translation of from the far reaches of hell <sighs> who told you this now then the book that you translated is now in my possession clearly you are a scholar of great knowledge and wisdom you took care to omit the most horrific passages doubtless because you recognize the danger they posed as an academic, I will not stand idly by as knowledge is used for the purpose of evil. And so I ask you, who commissioned this translation from you? <sighs> Come inside. Well, if it works, it works. Many thanks. Thank you, friend. There's a more tactful way to go about that than just stating the facts Listen. out loud. But if it works, it works. Ah, where should I even begin? In truth. Fifteen years ago, a man came here to me with a request he said was of dire import. Strangely, I cannot recall his name. He was a scholar, and from his words, one could tell his mind was as sharp as a blade. But what I remember more than anything were his eyes, which burned blood red with a zeal for knowledge that bordered on obsession. What in the... Red eyes? Could it be? No, perish the thought. After that... They say in recent years he accepts a prestigious position at the Royal Academy in Atlasdam. 
It couldn't be. Good gods! Headmaster Von? Yes. Ah, oh, yes. It's all coming back to me now. Avon was his name. Oh. In truth. He came to me, a mighty and venerable tome in hand. That tome was far from the, <laughs> was far from the reaches of hell. No, it's from the far reaches of hell. I don't have to think twice. Is that so? Knowing full well the danger posed by the forbidden knowledge within. Yes. Yes, I was not blind to the risk. And yet, what choice did I have? The medicines my daughter required cost a veritable fortune, and I am but a humble scholar. So you followed Yvonne's instructions to the letter. Yes. I translated that dreadful tome. All the while fearing for my life what horrors might come to pass if the knowledge fell into the wrong hands. In the end, even the rarest of elixirs could not save my poor girl. Looking back, I believe this was divine punishment for my sins. Master Yvonne, whatever was the man thinking? You say the book is in your possession. I beg of you, promise me. Leave it to me. I will see that it is never again used to bring pain and suffering. You have my word. The pain and guilt you bear is surely beyond my understanding, but I hope this will bring you even a small measure of solace. Rest your heart easy, friend, as best you can. You have my thanks. Come now. Well, are you going to keep hiding in the shadows? Or should we end the charade? Ah. I knew who it was as well. <laughs> so you were wise to my presence. Just so. I knew I was being followed, yes. Fancy meeting you outside the academy. You are the headmaster's assistant, Miss... Call me Lucia. Greetings. A pleasure. And why have you followed me here, Miss Lucia? I apologize. Forgive me, Professor Albright. I mean no offense. I overheard that you were investigating the whereabouts of a certain tome. A tome by the name of From the Far Reaches of Hell. Is this correct? Mm -hmm. And what if it is? In truth. What I'm about to say, I ask that you keep in the utmost confidence. I have reason to believe Headmaster Yvonne is plotting something unsavory involving the self-same tone. Why, so I'll the, be... So the thief who stole the book from the archives was... Yes. The headmaster himself? Of this, I am all but certain. The headmaster's assistant I may be, but first and foremost, I am a scholar in my own right. I will not stand to see my profession's good name sullied by one who would use knowledge in the name of evil. This is why... Indeed. You came here seeking my aid. Correct. Yes, my intuition as an academic tells me you are a man to be trusted. As you may be aware, Headmaster Yvonne hails from Stoneguard himself. Yes. I was planning to investigate that very matter after I was done here. Hmm. The house in which he was born still stands. Yet there are ominous rumours about the place. I have ascertained its location, but I am hesitant to investigate further on my own. And so I ask, Professor Albright. Pray lend me your aid. I see. Before I promise anything, I will see the house with my own eyes. Just go up the steps. Correct. I understand completely. You will find it on the north side of town. Shall we begin? Very well. Let us pay the visit straight away. 
As for whether or not I can cooperate, I will give you my answer there. Is this acceptable? Thank you. But of course. Thank you, Professor. I'll go on ahead and meet you there. To a mansion? Who wants to place a bet with me? Who wants to place a bet? It's like the TARDIS, this house. Tiny on the outside, massive on the inside. Armadillos! Place your bets now. <laughs> right, I should be good to go with whatever we've got here currently. I don't think there's anyone that's going to learn a skill at the moment. Technically, Cyrus is nearly at Doss's charity at the moment, which isn't too bad to be learning. Uh, oh, we can actually get some more stuff for you. So let's just take Donate BP just in case. Do you know what? Let's just take the whole lot. What's wrong with it? Oh, except we need 3,000 and we just ran out of that. But dodging a melee attack's not too bad. 10,000 JP on Varian. Ah. Well, it looks like it's kind of big, but you know. This is where Headmaster Yvonne was born and raised. Not West Philadelphia. According to the neighbours, it has lain abandoned for some 20 years now. Is that so? Ominous indeed. Well, shall we let ourselves in? What, what the? What the? Maybe not. Maybe it's smaller than we thought. Seems we fell into a pit trap. Oh, where? Where? What is this place? Thank you, sir. I should take it over. Ah, Professor Albright. I apologize for this little ruse. I'd recognize that voice anywhere. So, we meet again, Headmaster Yvonne. When I heard you were looking into from the far reaches of hell, I knew your search would lead you here. And sure enough, you didn't disappoint me. Your mind is every bit as sharp as I thought it was. You sent Lucia to keep an eye on me. What a shame, my dear boy. A thirst for knowledge like yours would be such a terrible thing to waste. So, what do you say? Apprentice yourself to me, and I will overlook your little trespasses. How kind of you. I refuse. I am, shall we say, philosophically opposed to your stance on knowledge. I believe that knowledge should be shared, not hoarded for one's personal gain. I thought you'd say as much. Most unfortunate, Cyrus. Most unfortunate. As you know, this is my house, and I don't get many callers these days. A smart man like you knows what this means, yes? When you starve to death here, no one will be the wiser. <laughs> if you think I'll give up without a fight, you don't know me nearly well enough! What have we here? Climbing my way out doesn't seem to be an option. Now then! How to get myself out of this predicament? I just like spells. Can he like rise an icicle up and raise himself up a along with it? When I thought they have. They all stand on each other's shoulders? There's four of them in there after all. As we find ourselves a bone. Very useful. But maybe it will be. Ah. Investigate further. 
Uh, so after moving a little bit, it says wait and see, basically. So we're supposed to wait and see. Sure, we'll wait and see. A trap falls on us. He's using his knowledge brain. Professor? Professor Albright? Wait, really? Is that... That voice? Could it be? Are you okay? Hold on, Professor. I'll lower a rope. There you go. Climb on up. You been following me around too? <laughs> oh, Professor, I'm so glad you're safe. <laughs> Talise, why are you here? Did you come all the way from Atlas now? But, but why? Actually, I, I knew you were in danger. So I came to warn you. Hmm? That's quite enough, young lady. I knew Cyrus would come, but you, you have pluck for a girl your age. You think you can get away with this? If what? Let her go at once. <laughs> it is clear hostage negotiation never factored into your scholarly pursuits. Mark my words, Cyrus. Stop meddling my research or the girl's life is forfeit. Ooh. Oh. Wait! You have teleportation! Well, make for the cellars of Yvonne's birthplace. Now, let's look at from the outside. Obviously, it looked like a big house, but I think we do have a case of Tardos Syndrome. So I win. Shake there. Even though we entered a smaller room at the start. <laughs> let's begin exploring the dark, dank mans. Finding not much of anything, really. I said, at this point in time, if I'm right in saying, we should change our skills because this is a new section. We don't play with that kind of stuff. The show goes on because we're taking off our anti-people coming to fight me thing. We like people come fight me. That's good. Very good. I said as well, for you, sir. What ones do you have on accuracy plus 50 and physical defense, element defense? We... Recently, oh, increase the chance of encountering enemies. That's interesting. We recently got hold of another mighty belt. So upping your physical attack even further probably wouldn't go too far astray. Is there a side room? It's, it's very dark. Thankfully, I do have a torch at all times. Let us fight with honor. <laughs> Why do? <laughs> That's what I imagine they sound like. I appreciate it, really. I wonder what spells they're weak to, if any. But they're gonna nuke us with AOE attacks. How about you? Not what I like. Ha! We can sort out the back rope. Okay, who's I'm next ready. on our turn orders here? Ha! Let's get a second break. What next? Well, now we could just let it go another turn. And on this turn, just analyze a little bit to learn another weakness, maybe, on Researcher Stronger. Bows. If they're all bows, then Arrowstorm could do a really Victory good job for us over the next few turns. I will cut you down! <laughs> let's, uh, find out if... Tell let's find out if they are all bows. That's a good way of doing things for me, man. So I feel like Ferion again is, as Hunter, is going to be our ace in the hole. <laughs> and I found lightning as a weakness too. Not bad. A passing. We got some pseudo cider. What's that? I guess pseudo cider is just fruit juice. It's not quite cider because it's not alcoholic, but it's pseudo cider. <laughs> I want proper cider, God. When I'm fighting my enemies. Spiriting plum. Let's get on down there then. 
No, I don't like the AoE that we got, of course. Let's keep topping people up. Come on, I've got better things. Well, we to got do. golems and we've got other things. Okay. <laughs> They are weak to thingies, so maybe these guys are again too. Dread. Well, we put the back row, I guess that's a good start. No! Am I just gonna go full ahead for trying to smash them with certain abilities, like for breaks? I feel like I should just attack normally. Like that ability is just not hit enough. Obviously, gotta get more accuracy on. And what do you reckon these guys are weak to? Well, no matter what, I'm gonna nuke with Blizzard. Because to be honest, we should take out the back row anyway. Golems do hurt a little bit more, that's for sure. Light. Fairly strong safe bet, wouldn't you say? You're the Spearman. We do kind of want to get some breaks across here. Out of my way. I don't have spears. I don't have spears. Maybe these guys are weak to a certain ability that I love using. I appreciate it. Really? Bit of wishful thinking. An interesting dilemma. I don't have spears either. Only have axes. Sad times. Pick a spell. It's got to be fire or lightning. Let's go with fire. I was wrong. Do you have an AoE attack? I am ready. You've defended. That's not going to do much for you, honestly. Right, I should be able to take down our remaining enemies with what party members we have available to us. I appreciate it. Because Ferium. Now here's a question. I. Uh, if I defend, can I go ahead of that guy? No. Okay, I'm gonna wipe him out. I wanted to analyze, but it wasn't, you know, he was at the end of the queue, so probably best not to at that point. Why would I? So I got this pseudo side. What actually is it? When I think about it. Is it like a... It's something to sell, right? I've got all these nuts again. Maximum HP. Not fair, in, you've not actually been doing well for that, but to be honest, the maximum HP failure is technically Cyrus. I have some more SP. Gr not much increase there, I must say. Elemental defense. Let's give that to you. Oh, candy. Thank you, child. Oh my god, look at the HP gain. 30 HP. Suicider is for selling. Maybe. Yes, it is. Oh no, it's not. It's for throwing? As in, like. Of a single ally? Wait, so I can drink it and I, I, I lose physical and elemental defense? No, I'm selling that. <laughs> Don't drink pseudo cider, obviously. Pseudo cider bad. <laughs> Fill down the trapdoor again, that'd be hilarious. Alright, danger level of 40. Well, we kind of guessed as much. I feel he went on his spends minute debating the purpose of cider. Well, for most of the times, it's drinking. Unfortunately, not this time. It lowers your stats, which kind of makes sense, because if you got drunk, yeah, that would lower your stats. But all the same, you know? Can't we settle this like gentlemen? Oh. Oh. My turn. Yeah, I like this. Drug. Oh, we needed one more hit. <sighs> Victory shall be mine. Right, do I go with level slash? I mean, I could just break with a bow this lady who's going next. 
I am ready. And then try to summon light again, expecting most of these creatures to be of darkness. The sacred flame shine forth. And fail. The logical, course of action. logical course of action is to find out what his spell weakness is. Good job, metal. I thought maybe that. Actually, wait a second. They've got an element of truth to them, haven't they? I am ready. Should have looked. Thunder Guardian. Wind. Wind, Sam. Wind. But no matter what. Most of these guys will be broke on this turn. Naito, bring your shade. Out of my way. Let's use our arrow storm again. Uh, Fact that it leveled up eight bits of darkness on that one guy. This battle is truly true. Pretty good. Uh, Look at the amount of damage I do. Action. Not what I just did, most likely. <laughs> right, let's uh, actually use Analyze on this turn. I want the other two weaknesses, even though we will get them more. So level slash would have been fine too. My turn. Okay. All the same, we should be able to take out these guys one by one. I'm ready. Let's just heal up. And then follow up with Cyrus using a big old axe. Well, what next? I shall cleave you. <laughs> Thus, ends I know Albrick's not a magic user. I was expecting him to do no damage, but it's more the fact that he can be a magic user if I put like an elemental attack weapon on him too. But I do not have one of them as Albrick levels up. I'm fairly physical out, don't I? So that's the op.